Hi guys, now as most of you know, I have spent the last two, three months, is that right? Yeah, two, three months going around trying out loads of foundations, eyeshadows, powders, primers, everything for my wedding because I will be doing my own makeup. Now I have finally got every piece together, literally in the last couple of days I've got the last two pieces so I can finally show you my wedding makeup Hall. Okay, now first of all, before I could do anything, I had to get my base right. I tried foundations here, there, and everywhere. The only one I didn't try that I wanted to try, so I could like have said I've tried them all, is the new YSL Serum Youth Liberator one. I I had tried it in a different colour, and I'd not tried it in my own colour. But the one I went for, which is the one I've wanted for about two years since I first tried it, is Lancome's Tint Miracle. Now they do have a new one out, but this one to me is just perfection. I'm wearing it now. It is the most beautiful foundation. I absolutely love it. I, like I said, I tried it out a couple of years ago and I always go back to Lancome and just say, can you just put some Tim Raquel on me? And it's amazing. I even got the counter girl to do half my face in this and half my face in the other foundation. And I went back to work and they all said like, this side was flawless and this side looked nice, but this side was flawless. and. I just love it. This is shade 010 and this is just one of those foundations where it's not overly mattified or anything like that because I can't have that because I've got such dry skin. It's one of those more illuminating ones so it's a bit like the um, the New Bourgeois light one, I can't remember what it's called, or the I suppose like the um, L'Oreal Lumi one, you know the ones that sort of look a bit more lit within. It's one of those foundation so it's long lasting on me obviously but I've got dry skin it does last throughout the day for me it is not too dewy it's not too matte it's just that lovely finish I would probably say it's maybe I don't know it's, it's in the middle of matte and dewy and it just it's medium coverage you can build up if you want but it's definitely a medium coverage but it does allow a few freckles through so it's it's to me it's perfection so this is about 27 pound I think is it 27 no it can't be that much maybe like 25 pounds something like that but I absolutely love this and the shade is absolutely perfect for me like I said it's 010 I can get away with shade 2 um shade 2 isn't dark on the shade 1 it's just shade 2 is a bit more pinky like me but no 010 is the perfect pale because I want to be pale on my wedding day and yes that is lovely. And while I was at the Lancome flat counter, I was getting them to try out primer on me, and I ended up buying the Lancome Le Base Pro um, Perfected Makeup Primer. And it's just one of those sort of, it is a bit silicone y. It's very similar to the Smashbox one or Gosh Do one, you know, where it just sort of spreads out all over your face, but it does give the absolute flawless base. And I will be mixing this with the Professional which I can't really haul in this because I've had it for a year. So I'm going to mix a bit of this with a bit of professional. They're very similar. It's just, I don't know which is better, so I figured I'd just mix them both for the day, but it does give an absolute perfect base to sort of do your foundation with. But that is, yeah, like I said, the Lancome, and I, I'm really, really loving this. Okay, to continue with face, I wanted a powder, and this literally came in the last few days. I've been researching powders mainly because there's not a lot of counters that I can go to where I can try them, and a lot of powders are mattifying, and I really do not need mattifying at all. In fact, oil does not even see my face. I, I don't need mattifying. But this one is a mattifying one, but it's a mattifying radiance powder, and it is the YSL... Oh, it's beautiful powder. I really wanted a powder that looked pretty. I know it sounds really sort of, you know, shallow, but for my way, I want to keep this. This is something I'll keep and show my grandchildren, like, you know, my, this is the beautiful makeup palette. So yeah, I tried this out, absolutely loved it. Read reviews and they were just amazing. I even watched videos and I was like, I, I know it's going to be this one. So I got it and it's the Pudra Compact Radiance, basically the Radiance Enhancing Pressed Powder. And this is in shade two. Oops. And it just looks like that. I have been using it because I've been practicing my makeup, but it's just one of those powders. It's so buttery soft. And I must admit, you just put this on with the little um, poof and you can instantly see like how it looks. It looks absolutely flawless. And it comes in a little pouch like this and it's got a little poof, or whatever you call them, in the inside pocket. The poof doesn't actually go in this. And... Oh. 
Okay, and then also for my face, I have a new highlighter. I bought the Benefit What's Up highlighter. This was a bit of a shock to me because I didn't expect to be buying a highlighter. I was looking at a few, but I figured I could probably sort of make do with what I've got. I've got high beam and I've got some powdered ones. I thought I could just use that. But I tried this on in Benefit and I just fell in love with it. It has been out for ages, but it's just a beautiful champagne stick highlighter and it just sort of goes on you blend it in and my hands are a bit dirty now I'll try and do it there I don't know if you'll be able to see that but it's like a gorgeous champagne sort of highlight I am actually wearing it now I don't know if you'll be able to see there I don't know if the light will pick it up but it's absolutely stunning as soon as she tried it on I was like yes I need to have that for my wedding and so I'll be wearing that as well I absolutely love this and then for my cheeks I've mentioned before I bought the Benefit Rocketeur I love this it's just a beautiful, I don't know what it's described as actually, um, it's not really got a sort of description of colour but it's just one of those kind of movie rosy pinks, very, it's what I'm wearing now, it's just very natural flush which is what I wanted for the day and it has, it's not shimmery but it's got a nice sheen to it and I do want to sort of look lit from within and all that rubbish from wedding day, I just want to look a bit, you know, perky and this is just beautiful. Oh, I forgot to mention, when I bought my YSL off the website for free, I got this little beauty. It's a makeup mirror. It's just got a little leverette, no, not leverette, patent case with YSL written on it, and it just looks like that. And it's, sorry, I, I'll do it very quick so you won't get blinded, but it's just, I thought that would be a lovely addition to go in my little clutch. And where the whole YSL sort of collection came from is when I was looking for the perfect red, which is this one, it happened to be YSL. Now I went everywhere. Some were too orangey, some were too bricky, some were too sort of pinky. I wanted a red that was red, red, without making my teeth look yellow because some of them were on that kind of verge. But this, I find makes my teeth look whiter. This is the perfect red. It matched my, it matches my nails perfectly, which I haven't got at the moment. But the nails I'm getting is this kind of red. It is beautiful, and it just looks like that. It's absolutely beautiful it lasts a really long time when I tried it on the shop she tried it on at two in the afternoon and by ten o'clock at night I was still wiping it I had to sort of take it off with makeup remover it feels comfortable on the lips but just stays put for a really long time and that's why when the girl was talking to me about it she says you you need to try one of these out I tried it loved it color is perfect and it's just beautiful and then I thought the powder would complement it nicely, but that is my lipstick, and it is in shade 35, which apparently is discontinued off the official website, but I know you can pick some up on eBay, and I picked up mine from House Fraser, and I, know, I think John Lewis had a couple left, so, you know, good luck if you want to try and find it, but it was just the most perfect red, but if you want one similar, shade 14 is the closest one to it, they're slightly different, but... That was just the perfect one for me. Okay, and the last product is technically not a haul, and I don't know if I should be showing this before Christmas, but it's my Christmas present off Miss Budget Beauty, and I had to open it because she's done a video where she says this is my present, so obviously I would have found that anyway, but she bought me a MAC palette with three shades, Cranberry, Satin Taupe, and Naked Lunch. Obviously I'm not be wearing Cranberry on my wedding day, but Satin Taupe, which is that one there. I imagine you've all seen these before. Just looks like that. It's absolutely beautiful and it's what I'm wearing on my eyes at the moment is the colour I've been looking for. I do have a colour similar in the MUA Undress Me 2 palette, but that's matte, which is what I wanted. But I just think the nice little sheen of this mixed in with the MUA is just perfect. And the Naked Lunch I'm going to be using as a little highlight because I kind of want to stick, keep to matte on my eyes. But technically not a haul. Technically you're supposed to have it for Christmas, not you know the 1st of December as it is today. But yeah, Satin Taupe is part of my wedding haul and I will be wearing it and it's beautiful and oh my god so I love it thank you Miss Budget Beauty okay and you all get a little sneak preview because no one will see this till my wedding day but I have my wedding clutch it arrived yesterday in fact I bought this off eBay and I will put the link below because it was one of the cheapest I could find of this style not just I was just looking for cheap ones but it came super fast I ordered it Thursday it came Saturday and it's beautiful and it fits all my makeup in and my phone so it's perfect and it is this little beauty isn't she beautiful it's all pearls obviously not real ones and it's just a lovely little clutch like that and I just picked it because it was the perfect kind of size and it fits in my powder that was it it also fits in my mirror my lipstick and my phone perfectly and sneak preview ladies this is what i'm having for my wedding day clutch and it's just so pretty but like i said links below and obviously not forgetting sorry the la vie spell which i bought a few months ago but i bought it specifically for my wedding which i mentioned in my favorites and oh 
Oh, it just smells divine, so that will be the fragrance I'm wearing on my date also. So that is my wedding haul. By the time you see this, I might actually be married. How exciting is that? I don't know what order of these going up. I'm trying to film as many videos as I can and, you know, I'll edit them and they're going to come up at some point, but I might actually be married by the time you see this. How exciting is that? Ah! So, um, yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you soon.